All right, check it out, check it out. It is Thursday, May 28th. I am, oh, under 24 hours from leaving for uh, Ghana for my Peace Corps departure. I'm leaving for, sorry, Philadelphia. And, um, and then June 1st, I leave for Ghana. And so um, I wanted to go ahead and put this out there. I'm gonna go ahead and do a packing video for um, if anybody that's just interested in knowing kind of what goes into packing for the Peace Corps or um, any future Peace Corps volunteers. I know I benefited a ton from having videos like this um, of people who just kind of explained what they were bringing, think kind of cool ideas that they had, um, just packing lists and people who took the time to share what they were bringing with them. Um, so I benefited a lot from that. So I wanted to kind of return the favor and throw one back out there. Um, so uh, yeah, this is uh, all my stuff. I'm finally getting it all organized and getting it into bags um, less than 24 hours before my plane departs. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get into this here. So um, I'm gonna kind of skip most of the clothing stuff. Um, it's pretty basic, I've a handful of shirts, hand one long sleeve shirt, one hoodie. Um, I, I guess the only real like kind of thing that I wouldn't have thought of that I heard from somebody was um, that I heard from multiple people was a lightweight um, uh, windbreaker with a hood um, for rain because it's not going to be real cold. You just need something that's going to keep you dry. Um, and other than that, it's pretty much pretty basic as far as I got a couple hats. Um, and uh, I'll get into shoes in a second, but um, clothing stuff is very basic. Um, so this is kind of the rest of the stuff that I'm going to be bringing. Um, so I'm going to cover some of the things that like a lot of people that I had a lot of questions about and I know a lot of other people had questions about um, surrounding. So shoes, um, I brought two, pair, two pairs of running shoes. Um, these are called Native um, Natives. Uh, they're made by Native and this model is called the Jefferson. Similar to like a Croc, it's like fully rubberized, um, ventilated. I've, I don't know how these are going to work out. I got them just in case. I thought that they looked, seemed like a good idea, and I'll find out if they were worth the money. Um, one pair of Tevas, one pair of, pair of uh, sturdy flip-flops, and I was told to bring a dressy outfit for uh, my swearing-in ceremony, so I have one pair of dress shoes that I'll probably throw away once I get there. Um, so, moving on, um, electronics was like one of the biggest question marks for a lot of people. Um, so here's, uh, well, first of all, I'm filming this right now on my, uh, Canon PowerShot SX700. Um, really great camera. It's got a 30 times zoom. I got it for Asia and got some really great stuff on it. So, um, I'm bringing that. Um, this is just my MacBook Pro. It's the mid, uh, 2014 edition. Um, I got an, I just bought this nice case for it, um, with a keyboard protector. I've heard that was a good idea because things tend to get a little dusty and dirty over there. I'm bringing an iPad. This is an iPad Air. I'm not sure if there's different editions on that. It's just what I have. Um, this literally just, I haven't even opened it. This just came in the mail. This is my Kindle Paperwhite. Um, and uh, as far as accessories for the computer, I just brought some storage devices. This is a two terabyte, uh, two terabyte external hard drive to save movies, books, uh, audio tapes, TV shows, all that, um, so I can save a ton of stuff on that, and uh, it's just like a little a little speaker, and um, then kind of to get into some of the, uh, this this stuff is basically my, um, my universal um, adapters, so these can kind of have every kind of adapter that you'd ever need, I got two of these, this is a surge protector, um, because the... Um, they're still kind of working out the kinks in the in the electrical grid over there, so this protects any electronics that you have plugged in. You plug them in directly to that, and it keeps them hopefully safe from any kind of damage that could be done to them by by an electrical surge. Uh, rechargeable batteries. Um, these are for uh, because you don't want to purchase batteries over and over again, um, and they're for things like my headlamp. This is a uh, battery powered flashlight that I got. I also have a solar powered slash crank powered flashlight. Um, again, a lot of this is because they have a, a semi unstable uh, electrical grid over there. And so um, I can't count on having electricity all the time. And actually most of the time I can't count on it. So these are 
just push button lights to have around the house, um, around my bed, my desk, whatever I have. Um, push like kind of just touch LED lights to have some lighting when it gets dark. Um, now these are these are I'm pretty excited about. This is an anchor. Oops, the anchor foldable dual port solar charger. So this I can charge um, anything that charges on a USB. Um, I can charge with that in the sun. Um, and this is an anchor. Astro E5 external battery um, and you charge that up um, I, I would charge it up when I had electricity and I can get about seven charges on my phone out of that um, This is another smaller anchor charger that I get like one charger out of but one charge out of but I'm uh, bringing it anyway and um, As far as electronics That's basically it um, So oh, I don't know if I need to get into all this stuff, but maybe I will a couple different Cup, two different water bottles, um, some padlocks, a multi-tool, super important, um, really good to have. Um, these are solar powered, just like keychain, uh, little LED lights, just to, I don't know, I feel like you can never have enough sources of light for when, if the electricity's down and, and it's dark out and you need to do stuff, so I just kind of went all in on that. A um, couple rolls of duct tape, some super glue, I don't know if I said padlocks already, this is a quick drying travel towel um, deck of cards um, for entertainment I got two pairs of sunglasses I bent I, I bought one that's hopefully gonna last I spent a bit of money on them so I so I bought like one pair that's gonna be quality and then just kind of a cheapo set of backups um, this has my passport and uh, my immunization records and a birth certificate and um, some passport photos in there um, just bringing that I, um, in case I need to go to any other countries while I'm there or want to go to any other countries while I'm there. Um, this is a giant bag of dum-dums. I've heard it was nice to bring American candies to give to uh, the local kids because they don't necessarily get stuff like this all the time. So I just brought, bought a big bag of those to kind of give out when it's appropriate. And... Um, yeah, to move on, um, these are just kind of some uh, some stuff for journaling. This is just a notebook. This is a nice kind of leather-bound notebook that I received as a gift that I'm going to kind of use for journaling. This is a photo album that I'm going to spend a little bit later, some time a little bit later, filling with a bunch of photos that I just had printed off. Um, some Sharpies, um, just but gonna just some comfort items, some stuff from home, so... When I'm crying myself to sleep every night, I can have some memories from home to look at. Um, two fitted sheets and a pillowcase, or not fitted sheets, I should say, a top sheet style unfitted sheets um, because I don't know what kind of mattress slash mat I'm going to be getting. So this is what was recommended to me. Get a large um, top sheet or unfitted sheet um, so that you can kind of just pin it around whatever you're whatever you end up with. And then over here I have um, my kitchen items. So I brought uh, two giant bottles of hot sauce. I've got sriracha and tapatio. Uh, some different seasonings here. This is like just a pollo asado chicken seasoning, uh, garlic salt, uh, black ground black pepper, and um, Italian seasoning. Just some stuff to season up food with because you don't always have access to the types of seasonings and stuff to spice your food up that you want. Um, so that's a good idea to bring some stuff like that. These are seeds so that I can plant um, herbs. I've got basil, cilantro, and um, green onions. I'm not sh really sure which of those are going to pan out. Um, I've never planted and grown anything, so I have no idea which of those are going to pan out in the climate that I'm going to be in. But... Uh, that's what I got. This is a um, this is a frying pan. I heard it. I've heard multiple times. It's a great idea to bring your own quality frying pan because you're not always going to get um, a great quality on a nonstick frying pan over there. Um, so it's good to have one that you can rely on. And then just um, one paring knife, um, one kind of just chopping kitchen knife, and then a heavy duty set of scissors. And, um, yeah, that's just kind of stuff to ensure that I have what I need to, to cook and prepare meals that have some flavor. I have no idea what type of food to expect. There's some things I just haven't looked in, had the time to look into yet, but, um, I will 
we'll find out uh, very shortly what uh, what I'm in for. So um, hopefully I didn't miss anything here. I'm taking a quick look around. Oh, my bags. So this is just kind of a large hard-bodied um, suitcase here. Sorry, I'm pointing to this. Um, large-bodied suitcase um, or hard-bodied um, large suitcase. Um, this is my uh, 42 liter um, kind of backpacking, hiking backpack that I'm bringing, going to be carrying onto the plane. And then um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this duffel right here. It's kind of a medium sized duffel or this large duffel over here. It's going to kind of depend on how things pan out as I'm trying to uh, get everything into my bags. And so um, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start trying to get stuff packed up. Um, I have some weight limits to work with, so it's going to be like a little bit of a puzzle maybe. But um, other than that, I'm like super excited. I get to meet all the people that I'm going to be going over there with. Um, here tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and the next day, I'm going to start meeting uh, the people who, can I, who I can anticipate spending some time with over in Africa and um, volunteering alongside. And so... I'm incredibly excited. I've had so much time to spend with uh, different members of my family and some friends and I'm just like so incredibly ready to go and ready to take this on. Um, and I'm sure I have no idea really fully what I'm in for, um, but like I just am so grateful for this opportunity and um, yeah, here goes nothing. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to be posting this on you may be watching this on my blog, uh, maxisfaraway.wordpress.com. Hopefully, I'm going to be updating this all the time with different videos and uh, you know things that I'm writing or pictures. Um, I'm hoping to be really avid about this. So, um, otherwise, uh, thank you to everybody who's supported me in this, helped me out. A lot of people have helped me out financially with getting things in order. Um, so I'm so grateful to everybody that's helped me out and just supported me and um, shown love to me as I'm uh, headed out on this soon to be wonderful adventure. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Peace and love y'all.